Mount Laurel Spirits was founded about three years ago. It was the brainchild of Herman Mihalich and myself. There was an article in the New York Times talking about the rebirth of rye and the rebirth of micro distilling, which caught our eye. Pennsylvania was the origi originally the largest producer of rye whiskey in the world pre-prohibition. My father and grandfather were big rye whiskey uh, supporters. They served it in the bar, which they uh, managed and owned for many years. And when my father passed, I did start wearing his hat. The fedora hat, it communicates, you know, very strongly, uh, you know, Americana and uh, the nostalgia for uh, that time. And we thought that would be the right image for us to communicate our brand. We designed a custom bottle with Anchor Hocking, which is out of Manaka, PA that has a unique shape in the shape of Pennsylvania Keystone. Signature Communications helped us design the company logo, which is the Pennsylvania Keystone with the fedora hat embossed across the top of the symbol. All of our spirit is handcrafted. Everything is done here on site. Our grain comes from Bucks, York, Lancaster, Chester, and Montgomery counties. Um, and our whiskey is made out of 80% rye grain, 15% barley malt, and 5% rye malt. It starts with making a mash. We take our 2,000 pounds of rye grain and we allow that grain to drain through into a hopper, which leads to a mill. That flour is then conveyed into the top of the mash tank where it's mixed with water and combined to make a 1,000 gallons of mash. That mash is heated over 140 degrees and allowed to cook for a couple of hours. We cool the mash down and then we will add our three pounds of yeast to start the fermentation process. So that cooled mash with the yeast is then pumped from the mash tank into a fermenter where we'll keep it for anywhere between five and seven days. After the fermentation is complete, we then pump that mash into the still. And the first of two fermentations we call stripping, which is where we separate the alcohol and all the flavors, good and bad, from the mash. The low wines are then put back in the still for a second distillation. And it's only after the second distillation we end up with a product that is ready for barrel aging. So that product, which comes off the still at anywhere between 155 to 160 proof, is then diluted down to 120 proof and put into our barrels. Those barrels then are put on racks and aged for six to nine months. For a young spirit, we get exceptional flavor. Our whiskey is extremely smooth. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. We have a tremendous amount of pride in being from Pennsylvania. We're thrilled about the relationship that we have with the local farmers and what we do. I'm proud of the fact that we've done this here in Pennsylvania, bringing back a tradition of distilling that existed for a long time in the state. We're doing it with local investors, using local suppliers where we can, and making a quality product. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about.